This is my girlfriend Abigail. Recently she's been telling me about how she's been struggling to sleep and doesn't feel well rested when she wakes up. So me being the brilliant, kind boyfriend I am, I decided to take things into my own hands and help her solve this problem once and for all. To fix her sleep, we are going to be using the exact same strategies I used to perfect mine, making sleep your number one priority, having a consistent bedtime, having a wind down routine, avoiding stimulants, regulating light, maintaining an ideal temperature, maintaining a peaceful sleep environment, light control, and gathering data for sleep. Boom. <laughs> What's up guys, Carson Johns here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we have a very special day. <gasps> it's not a birthday. <laughs> it's not an anniversary. We're gonna be perfecting her sleep, ladies and gentlemen, because let me tell you, her sleep sucks ball sack, respectfully. <laughs> really? It's pretty bad. Yeah, it is. She yeah. wakes up feeling horrible every day. Yeah, I gotta pound like eight coffees. <laughs> Literally today, she's in 300 milligrams of caffeine. Things are bad. So I'm looking out for both of us, mainly her here. Things are gonna be fixed, right, baby? Yes. Mm. And the first step is having a consistent bedtime, but it's very important that she is choosing times that fit within her chronotype. So with a quick quiz, we figured out I am an early bird. That was my line. Oh. <laughs> so basically, she needs to be falling asleep around 10:30 p.m., waking up around 7 a.m. Not ideal because I'm like a night person, so I need to be like 12:30 p.m., waking up around 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. So not ideal for us, but you know what? We're going to make it work, right, baby? Yes. So first things first, that means we have to be in bed tonight by 10 p.m. Okay, perfect. Can we do that? Yes. I'm tired. Let's just go to sleep now. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong answer. <laughs> burr, burr. Not happening. Burr. Why do I look like I'm in the evil lair? This is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not evil. Things when it comes to bedtime start way before bedtime actually occurs. So what we started to do started the very minute we woke up. And what we had to do was something called direct sunlight exposure in the morning. So we went outside, got some bright sunlight in our eyes. This is going to start our circadian rhythm, which helps us basically know when to fall asleep at night and when to get tired. So we got that first things first. That way we could get tired as soon as possible to fall asleep as soon as possible. Then normally she is a big coffee drinker and I'm not going to change that for her because caffeine actually isn't a horrible thing for you it turns out but what we are going to do is delay her caffeine intake about 60 or so minutes after waking to see how she's reacting to sleep if she needs any more so on and so forth without just the caffeine masking her receptors telling her whether she actually is tired or awake from there we just went on about our normal day routine nothing too crazy until we jumped on over here to nighttime to get her room fully ready for sleep in the ideal environment it is about time for Betty Bye. So we have our next things that we have to complete. First things first, cooling down the room. So what are we sleeping at tonight? 63. A calm little 63. We've been doing this for some time now. This is nothing new. But cool your room down. 63 is a little bit cold, but it's perfect for us from what we found. Bam. 63 degrees. Too. Boom. <laughs> next. Close the blind. Cut. We need these John's dark. No light should be getting in here. We need to be waking up when our body wants to not do the light. But look at these nice blackout shades. Woo! What's next, baby? She already knows this one. I've trained her well. <laughs> Circadian rhythm. Circadian rhythm, baby. But no I don't more. have fancy lighting. <laughs> No, the, la the lamp is fantastic. See that? See how warm it is? Except for those things. Those are freaking blind enough. Crazy. Oh, huh? frick. Oh, frick. But we can't do this yet because we got to film. Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't know. It might look pretty good. Oh, Tell me that doesn't look so cozy it. over there. Holy frick, I want to lay down. We were not eating nerd gummy clusters. You were, not me. That was not us. <laughs> we were not eating those. <laughs> we got some pet butterflies. We just hatched them. Hatched them. Born <laughs> from my balls. Babe, <laughs> they're monarchs. They I'm pretty sure. They need to be We got to be one, released. one right here that hasn't come out yet. It's still in his cocoon. But that boy has his sleep perfected. He can't even wake up. That's how good it's perfected. <sighs> So recently, me and my girlfriend found one of our new favorite ways to wind down in the evening and get ready for sleep. And that is by expanding our minds with Lingoda. Funny enough, months before Lingoda even reached out to me, me and Abigail were talking about how bad we wanted to learn Spanish for some of our upcoming vacations. So we could not pass up on this opportunity to try it out. We've tried other methods in the past to learn Spanish, but just did not have much luck. But this has been a game changer for us because of literally so many different features. Currently, we're taking part in their Lingoda Sprint Challenge, where we are taking 30 live classes over a 60-day period. We are both very competitive people, and we both love a challenge so this is right up our alley but along with us literally learning an entirely new language and having a challenge to help us stay accountable lingoda makes this offer even more appealing to anyone who completes this challenge because they are offering 638 dollars cash back by using the link down in the description literally 638 dollars just for being consistent doing this challenge 
Easy. This really has us locked in. Free money and a challenge? Nothing beats that. Literally every single evening without fail, we log in, book whatever class we want to take out of so many options, and sit on a small interactive class with a maximum of five students, and receive personalized feedback from the teacher. The nice thing is they have classes going 24-7, so finding a class in a time that works for you is not an issue. This has been by far the easiest way to learn language out of everything we've tried so far. And trust me, we've tried a lot. So if you've been looking to learn a new language and expand your brain, now is your chance. So go ahead and click the link in the description of this video to get $152 off as well as cashback savings as high as $638. This offer ends on July 1st and is only available using the link in my description. So check out the link and go sign up. And who knows, maybe we'll see you inside. All right, baby, when was the last time you drank caffeine? We've been working on this all day. When did we go to the farmer's market? About 12.30. 12.30. 12.30, no <laughs> caffeine past one o'clock. Never. I can't have that. <laughs> so we got that check. We got cool down check. Circadian rhythm, blacked out. I think it's just bedtime. Magnesium. <laughs> That's not part of the routine, but that is something we're <laughs> I'm like, She's wait. taking magnesium, magnesium too. And finally, as we round the corner here to bedtime, last thing that we have to be very cautious about is spending too much time here in this bed without actually being asleep. The longer you spend in bed without being asleep makes you tie wakefulness to your bed. When it's said you want to be ready for sleep by the time you get into bed so most people watch tv or something in bed what is actually probably better i mean no tv at all is ideal but watching tv on something like the couch until you're literally ready to fall asleep getting into bed and passing out that way you don't tie wakefulness to your bed you tie sleeping to your bed and it's not anything else you do in bed other than stay awake so we're going to avoid this bed at all costs until it is time for sleep all right Whoa, what's that blue light doing, Missy? <laughs> what are you doing with all that? Oh, it's freaking cold. So we got our night routine checked. We got a little wind down routine we do. Yes. Basically, it's just us getting ready for bed. But now that everything has been completed, it is time for the absolute <laughs> slumber of a lifetime. We got no wake up time. Ooh, we got to get up tomorrow. So cozy. It is comfy, huh? <laughs> little silk sheets. Mmm, busted. So we will see you on the other side. Bye. <laughs> Please cut that out. <laughs> no, that's safe. Some time has passed. Here are the results. First things first, baby. Just how are you feeling? Um, I feel energized. I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the gap. <laughs> Look, these things most of the time do take a lot of time to work. It's yeah. only been a little bit, but we're getting the principles, <laughs> right? I mean, I feel pretty similar to how I did yesterday. <laughs> it's been seven weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like four days, bro. Oh. Like, it's not gonna I be that bad. Better than I did four days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much has changed, but we're getting some good foundations. I've had her wear my woo band for the past few nights just so we could get some like baseline <laughs> levels and then had her go now. And so far we've had an 8% increase respectively on both REM and deep sleep. Wow. Which we like that. Wow, that was a really good high five. Anyways, everyone, <laughs> sleep is very important, so don't forget it. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. What the freak was that? You know the right outro. Peace. <laughs>